Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to combine forces. In other words, we're going to look at how to find the resultant force vector when adding force vectors together. So let's get started. It says here that you may be asked to find the resultant force vector when adding two force vectors in one dimension or at right angles. So if you're adding the two vectors in one dimension, if the forces act in the same direction, then you can simply add the two vectors together. But if the forces act in opposite directions, then you need to subtract the smaller force from the larger force to find the unbalanced force. And we should remember from National 5 as well as earlier in the higher topic that there are two methods that can be used to find the resultant vector when adding two vectors at right angles. So these are the scale diagram method and the calculation method. So remember the scale diagram method involves using a protractor and a ruler to draw out a scale diagram of the situation whereas the calculation method involves using Pythagoras. It then says here since force is a vector you must state the final resultant force with both a magnitude and a direction just like we did for resultant displacement and velocity. So remember, because force is a vector, we must have a direction with the magnitude as well. Now, sometimes at higher level, the situation might not be as easy as adding two force vectors at right angles. It might be the case that when you add your two force vectors together that are acting on an object, they might not make an angle of 90 degrees, which will make the situation more difficult to analyze. So what you could do instead is either use a scale diagram to measure out some angles that way, or you could rely on using the cosine rule if doing the calculation method. So just to show you an example of what I mean, imagine we've got an object here and we've got a force of 6 newtons acting at an angle of 30 degrees from the vertical and a force of 9 newtons acting at an angle of 45 degrees from the vertical. Then what we need to do is add these two vectors together. But remember the key rule for adding two vectors together is we need to add them nose to tail. So clicking on the two vectors to get some movable vectors, I'm going to bring this vector down here and then I'm going to add this other one over here and that is going to be added nose to tail. So you'll notice that the nose of this vector is added to the tail of this vector. So then all I need to do for the resultant vector is draw a line from the start to the finish point. So that's the shortest distance from the start to the finish point, which is this vector here. And you'll notice there are two arrows on it to show that it's a resultant vector. Now notice that this angle in here is not actually going to be 90 degrees. So we cannot find the magnitude of this resultant vector using Pythagoras. We would have to do it using the cosine rule because we don't have a right angle in here. Or alternatively, as we said earlier, you could use the scale diagram method instead. So this would give a value of 12 newtons here. And then we'd be able to work out this angle here to help us get our direction because we know that this little angle in here is 16 degrees. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.